Uh, we had a great uh, last four days of camp, so we're really excited about this group and this uh, football team and uh, what uh, the team that the, you know, Rick and uh, Coach uh, Zim has put together and uh, looking to move forward. Uh, expected, uh, you know, excited about this uh, week coming up in terms of uh, getting the pads on today. Obviously, a little juice in the air with that. But, um, you know, just still ready to continue to improve and uh, move forward with what, uh, you know, uh, with practice. But other than that, I'd like to open up to any questions. Ryan, we haven't seen Didi too, Didi do, do too much as a receiver, but seen him back there lining up for punts. What do you think he could bring to that competition in return? Uh, I mean, uh, great question. I mean, Didi obviously coming in here, we have a, a plan for him. You know, we had uh, targeted him in the offseason. It would be a great uh, addition to the group, not only his value as a returner, but as offense as well. But, um, you know, he's just got to take, you know, keep putting these uh, days together and continue to improve with, uh, you know, just being comfortable out there, getting his legs back underneath him. And he's doing that, and he's doing a great job uh, catching him, as you guys have seen. And, uh, you know, excited for him to be here and to add to more competition in that group. And, um, you know, he's going to bring a lot of value to this football team. How's the kicking competition going, and do you expect Riley Patterson to be back soon? You know, in terms of Riley, he's doing everything he's asked to, you know, in terms of uh, his rehab, and when he comes back, we'll address that and be ready to go, and we have a plan for that. Uh, but uh, up until there, we're, you know, coaching the guys that are on the field ready to go that are able out there to be uh, to participate. And um, Patterson, he's, um, you know, I expect him hopefully sometime this week, but that's, um, that's going to be uh, up to the trainers and their plan that they got going on. And Greg, he's doing a great job, everything we asked for. Uh, he's uh, competing out there. He, his mindset's right. And it's in the right spot. And he knows he's uh, not only just competing with what's on this roster, but as kickers and specialists, they're competing with everyone around the league. So that's not going to change his mindset in any, um, any way if, when he comes back and when we move forward. Ryan, you've got a lot of different kickers in here so in your time on staff, I guess. Do you guys work more on the mental side um, with them, maybe than, than used to, um, just knowing how much pressure there is for that specific job? I mean, that, that's a great question. Um, yeah, we, we try and do it all with that. You know, we've got to try and uh, tie it in. Now, every kicker and specialist and even player, we do it the same way. I mean, they're all different individuals. So the way you go ahead and approach them, uh, I think, is different for each case. But yeah, we, we, uh, we do it all and we try and we put them in tough situations, uh, you know, create some adversity for them so we can see how they react if they don't have the success that they, uh, we expected on the field. And we want to make sure uh, we make it very difficult for them, but also be able to boost them back up. And um, I think we've got the right guys, not only just specialists, but uh, the men on this, uh, this roster to go ahead and uh, achieve that, regardless of the adversity that strikes. What's your impression so far of how Greg handles those tough situations, knowing it's just practice so far? No, he's been great. I mean, he's been great. Um, you know, uh, so we just, it's only been, the, this is going to be the fifth day today, and you, you kicked twice last week, but he's been great in terms of handling it. He's, he wants everything thrown at him. He wants it to be difficult right now, and, um, you know, he doesn't want to go ahead and have everything planned out. He wants to make sure we, uh, you know, it's just like a game situation. Every day we step on the field, and he's ready to work and work his craft. Uh, he's handled everything that we've asked him to do, and uh, we'll continue to build on that. You know, uh, that's that's a good question. That's going to be up for uh, you know obviously Coach Zim, but every day they're getting evaluated. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's game one, two, or three. We we'll just see how it all shakes out. But uh, you know, we're going into it with the guys that are on the roster right now in terms of that are active to be able to uh, compete. Um, that's who we're taking a look at, and when both of them are up, then uh, we'll uh, you know make that decision when that approaches. But. You know, it, every game, every every rep counts. I mean, they're getting evaluated in, in the meeting rooms and on the field, and then obviously how it all comes um, on under the game. So, to answer that question, I mean, it's just, it, it's just I, I don't have the exact answer on it. It's science in it, but um, you know, everything's getting evaluated. In terms of those pressure situations and being able to kind of emulate those in practice and then some of the preseason games, how important is that when you have? I mean, Greg last kicked in a game two years ago, and Riley's a rookie. Is it extra important when you have guys that have less experience to be in those, to put them in those situations? You know, I, that's a really good question. I think the biggest thing with that is making sure they have that experience also in the preseason games. But like you're saying, us putting them in like the the Saturday night practices that we had. Uh, you know, this past Saturday was a great opportunity. You know, in a crowded situation. Um, you know, to to go ahead and execute their stuff. But these guys are pros, and they approach their craft every day. You know, with the the right mindset to go ahead and get better every day. Um, but I mean, they're, they're they're here to compete, and that, that's what they're going to do. And 
and uh, you know excited for that, that opportunity for those guys to go ahead and do that. But uh, the, the situations we will want, you know put them through those in, in practice. And uh, coach does a great job when we do field goal situations in front of the team. Um, you know maybe it's a we we try and freeze them and you know just try and do as much as we can in a controlled environment. So when they go out there on game day, it's it's like second nature when they go ahead and go through it and they've been through that before. Uh, you've added a number of people with return experience in their backgrounds over the past two years. How do you balance the need to improve, especially a kick return, versus like the fact that the NFL is deprioritizing the importance of kick returns uh, as it relates to like field position and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, again, another great question. I mean, the thing with with that kickoff return, in terms of us uh, trying to prioritize that, every situation, every every phase is going to be prioritized. Uh, you never know when you're going to get that opportunity to go ahead and and affect the game, and that's what we're here to do. We're here to go ahead and you know be very explosive in the return phases. Uh, we got to make sure we do a great job of that. And with kick opportunity, even though it's limited, it doesn't mean we're not going to get get those opportunities. So, uh, you know, the personnel department, you know, Rick and Coach Zim bring in explosive returners in there to create competition to allow us to go ahead and do that and to go ahead and uh, create great field position for our offense and to essentially win football games. Uh, yeah, we've been around you know a lot of explosive returners in the past with Cordero Patterson and and um, obviously Mark Sherrill has had his success that he's had as a returner, but it's just talking about the details, being disciplined, and making sure we, uh, we you know, uncover every stone before we go ahead and just throw guys out there. But we got to make sure, again, even like the kicker and punter situation, that with the returners, we put them in situations where guys are around them, and so they're, you know, they're feeling the punts or kickoffs where they're actually seeing the lanes and hitting it uh, and practicing that under control you know, situation. But um, you know, we want to make sure that they uh, feel comfortable back there so we can go ahead and affect the game. And have that success, but the the past history with the Cordell Pattersons and all those guys—I mean, they're not here now—but uh, I think that's going to help as we continue to go ahead and implement our, you know, our core beliefs in terms of the return game. Ryan, the punt return finished last year in the NFL rankings. Um, what goes into a, an ideal punt returner to kind of get back to where you guys were? I mean, it's just the mindset, just the belief that we're going to go ahead and have success out there. I mean, we got to make sure we instill in these guys that on any given return or any given play that we got an opportunity to go ahead and break a big one. And, and we got to have that belief first and foremost. And it's just about technique and fundamentals that we started all last week. We want to make sure we're working with the technique in ter terms of blocking them at the line of scrimmage, making sure we're, we're getting on them and we're finishing with proper blocks, um, finishing throughout the play, having a sense of urgency in everything we do. Um, outside, we got to make sure we, we take care of you know the gunners obviously they're the first guys down in the line of defense so just a, it's a whole encompassing of everything putting it all together uh, but I would say at the end of the day it's it's it, once we get them in those situations but just having the belief that hey we can go ahead to go ahead and break one in any day and and then it's infectious after that I mean you can just start hopefully have a lot of success after that but we got to make them believe it try to instill that belief in, in a relatively new roster of guys who are going to do return. I, I think it's just a, a, a little combination of a few things in terms of showing them the, the success that we've had before and just in terms of, I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily here, but in terms of what, to, what works and what doesn't work, uh, what techniques and fundamentals work, um, you know, and, and actually, you know, showing them with the tape and making sure we're backing it up uh, with those examples as well and then how it carries over onto the field and then really stressing the nuances of everything in terms of, um, you know, the details what we see on the tape onto the field saying, you know, why we need to finish tech, you know, have, have to finish our blocks downfield and make sure, making sure that uh, we're not getting penalized and we're not hurting our team uh, with the field position. So it's just a matter of fact, it's just showing it and then repping it out here. Separates a part return skill set from a kick return skill set. Uh, first thing would be balls, um, you know, tracking a football. I mean, a little bit unique um, in terms of punt and kickoff and then obviously punt. Those guys, as you're catching the ball, you got bodies on you, you know, right on top of you. And you got to make a quick decision uh, with bodies on right at your feet. As opposed to kickoff return, you have about 20 yards before you're making a decision as you go ahead and, um, you know, fi find a laner as you return that ball. So um, there's a little, you know, there's, a, there's some carryover, but a lot of it, um, there's, there's a lot of differences in terms of, um, you know, technique of catching a punt uh, as opposed to you can need to go lateral or vertical as opposed to kick off turn, you can go just straight vertical. Ryan, you've been around here a long time. How do you, uh, yeah. you've been up here a long time and stuff like this. How bare is the cover? Have you ever been here in a situation where it's this bare, we have to find a new kicker, a new punter, a new punt returner, all these pieces that you got to try to assemble here in camp? No, I, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, I think we got a great group, and it's not necessarily about how bare it is. These guys are pros; uh, they're approaching it that way. 
uh, I think we have a great roster. Um, so I'm excited really, you know, where these guys stand and, you know, not only just the specialists and the returners, uh, but the core guys too. I mean, we got a really good roster and, and, and I think, uh, you know, we'll have a lot of success. But uh, the most important thing is these guys are high character guys too. And uh, they really want to go ahead and get better and they approach every day that way. They, they're, you know, perfectionists and, uh, you know, the masters of their craft. And, and it's exciting to work with those guys because they want to work, they want to get better. Um, so, you know, it's been a good blend of some veteran guys in terms of Brent Colquitt mixed with some, uh, you know, uh, middle veteran guys with uh, Depot and then um, some of the a couple and some young guys. And obviously Greg's right in the pack, too. So and we're really excited about the, the group that we have. And uh, they've been handling it really well and and um, seeing what they can go ahead and put out there on tape. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it, guys.